Hey YouTube family and anyone else who may be watching this if this is repurposed or posted anywhere else. Mwah! Hello, high vibe. Today's video, I want to get to the heart of the matter of twin flames. So today's question I'm going to ask Spirit is, does the concept of twin flames exist? If so, what are they? If not, why not? And correct us, guide us. I just really want to know do the concept of twin slaves exist? And depending on their answer today, we'll see if there's any follow-up emails. So if you just want to know, if you're like the runner or if you're the, the chaser, most of the time it's the chasers that watch these kind of videos, but if you're the chaser and you just want to know, is he my twin flame? Let's see if spirits will say if they even exist. Twin flame spirit. So we're going to say yes, and we're going to say no, mostly no, but we're going to give you the yes first, and then we're going to go into the no and the why. So what happens is we're non-physical. We decided to come down to have a human level physical experience. When we're non-physical, you could say that everyone is a twin flame. We know what we like, we know what we want, and we're all moving consciously closer towards our joy. It feels great, it feels good up here. When we came to have physical, we did not realize how hard the transition would be. Think back to the caveman days. It was, oh man, it's cold, this is cold. We came down because we wanted to experience physical. And then we're like, oh my God, this is so cold. Well, how do I stay warm? Then you're guided to build a fire. Then you're guided to how to make a fire easier. Then you're guided to how to put walls around you. So this is ever kind of growing expansion towards feeling better, how to enjoy the physical that much more, that much better. So a twin flame in the sense that when someone who non-physical came down to physical to enjoy it, when you get two people who have gone through we don't want to say personal growth or personal development, but we want to say when there's two people who have, who are so tuned in, tapped in, turned on to who they really are, they know their yeses from their noes, and they say yes to their yeses, and they say no to their noes. That's a powerful human being who can almost instantly manifest because they wanted to say and admit I want to experience this. And if something comes forward, they're like, oh, no, that's a no, no. So the yeses come so much quicker for them. When two of those beings come together, oh, it's powerful, it's magical, that people often like to attribute a name to it to kind of glorify and highlight how great it is. Because in relationships where someone's acting out of trauma or acting out of what they should be doing versus what they really want, those people just kind of bang it out a bit. What well, invited you here? That's not what I wanted. And they bicker and they fight. And so when they look at this couple who's, hey, whoa, I just, I saw this new movie and it, there's like this projector display over the ocean. It seems so good. Yeah, babe, I want to go play there too. <gasps> Bought our tickets. So the first couple, that looks amazing. They're like, why can't we be there? Why can't we be like them? course instead of judging yourself just I want to tap into my yes because all that was in the second example of whoa I saw this cool experience it's a yes for me is it a yes for you yes it's a yes for me another example whoa I saw this really cool movie and it's over the like it's a just, just it's a projector display over the ocean like is that do you want to check that out do you like that too Babe, what? That sounds amazing. Oh, you know, I actually have to do X, Y, Z, but can you tell me all about it when you get back? The other couple that's banging it around in the low vibes, doing what they think they should do would be, well, why would you go without me? Well, can I really go without him? No, you have to work. I'll stay in and work with you too. And then you guys bang it out low vibe. So twin flame in the sense, we would define it as two people who have overcome ego, who have overcome mass consciousness and are okay with admitting their desires and saying yes to their desires and enjoying it to the fullest. When two people like that come together, 
We think that's magic and we think that that's what Earth is supposed to be like. We, you could call that a twin flame. Does the concept of twin flame that is out there right now about the, the different stages of a twin flame relationship, the runner, the chaser, no, it does not. That concept was created from someone who has the belief system, you have to struggle before it gets good. You have to have self-sacrifice before you can have something good. Now let us give you an example. You guys know that Kelly travels a bit. If you guys follow her on Instagram more, you can see her whole trip to Ireland, England, London. She got a traveling experience when she was 25, 27, and she, there was a lot of her that lived in fear. She manifested a two-year trip from California to Maine and back. Every turn she made, oh, this is the gas station where the axe murderer is going to kill me. She would get in after paying for her gas. Go, oh, love you, God, I didn't die. Oh, this is the gas station where they're going to they're gonna pile me up and I'm going to get gang raped in, the, in that bathroom stall. Oh, I didn't get raped. Yay. She'd go on hikes. This is it. The boogeyman is out here. I know it. And she was she was in paranoia and fear and in insecurity. And yet she was still able to manifest a trip from California to Maine and back. She only paid rent for those 24 months and she was staying in nice accommodations. People were, hey, we're going out of town for two weeks. We want someone to house it. Come on over. Hey, we have this house. It's going to be empty. Do you need a place to stay for a month? And she was a jacuzzi overlooking an 18 part golf course. She was like, wow, this is what I'm getting paid to house it. Another one, a homemade house from stone. Yeah, I'll stay here a month. Oh, you're five minutes from downtown Portland, Maine. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay there a month. <laughs> All while only paying rent for the 24 months. Here's a little hint. Those four months were months that she didn't listen to her inner being. Can you be okay right here, right now with where you're at and still allow the universe to deliver to you what you want? Or are you going to put yourself on this self-torture of, I must be high vibe about everything. I need to get my vibes higher because then I'll be good enough for a relationship. That's what many of you think who are going to be watching this video. I'm, my communication must not be right. I expelled him. I pushed him away. I need to get better X, Y, Z, and then he'll come back. I need to improve before I could enjoy. I must sacrifice I must suffer before I can enjoy something good. And we just bluntly want to ask you guys, is that a belief system that you like or you don't? Do you want to beat yourself up for another year? Do you want to do the in and out phase of it? Or do you want to get to the core of it, which is I accept myself where I'm at. Be like Kelly, manifest that to your trip, even while she was afraid. You know what, I have my flaws. I could get better at communicating, I could get better at this, but you know what, right now, I'd really like to experience some romance, some connection, something that feels deep, something that feels meaningful, something that feels like he and I, or she and I, whatever, this other person and I, they and I, we create our own little world together. It's like we have our own little language when we navigate. We just have this special bond, this special sense of knowing. I want to call forth a relationship where I just say it has that special feeling to it. It has that this is unique. It has that, it has that sense of only this other person and I could have this relationship. Are you going to allow that relationship to come in? Or are you going to sit and think that you have to self-torture yourself for, for years so that it can come in? The choice is really up to you. We would encourage, if Kelly's going to do a second follow-up video on what to do if you're the chaser. Hmm. I always like how spirit 
gives you homework. So they want me the next video to make what to do if you're the chaser. Um, wow, guys, I was not expecting that answer at all. Um, I'm, I'm a little shocked. It kind of makes sense, though. Like, if people have that happy relationship, it's like, oh, they must be twin flames. Um, and I, that, God, that just made so much sense to me. Comment below, guys. Give me your thoughts. Give me your comments on that. Um, let me know if you agree, if you disagree. Uh, let me know if you have questions on that and you want me to make some follow-up videos on this topic. I love channel. I love helping you guys. Uh, I really hope that helped, guys, and it blew my mind. I want to see your comments. I want to know your questions. All right, I love you guys. Bye.